Hey everybody, I'm Philip. Today's video, we are going to be looking at Scrabble. I know that sounds really exciting and you should be excited because, oh my God, it's Scrabble. Scrabble is my favorite game, not in general, like I like video games more, but Scrabble has historically been my favorite game since I was very little. And so it is uh, transferred to Le Phone. I play Scrabble on my phone at least once a day, at least sometimes multiple times play old Scrabble go here. What I do while I play though, is if I have a collection of letters that I rearrange and they make me laugh or make me think, or just bring a weird thought to my head, I will screenshot the um, board. And I've been doing that since July of last year. I figured, well, let's, let's do a Scrabble video where we talk about Scrabble boards. So welcome to the first edition of Scrabble boards, Scrabble boards. We're gonna look at some Scrabble boards. That's the official song, by the way, of the video. All right, so without further delay, because I don't know how to introduce this video, let's get into it. Now, the trick is these are old. Like, we're going back over a year, so. Hopefully the spark that maybe go like, haha, -ha, or hmm, is there for me to remember why I saved it. If not, we're just gonna riff and improv together because you know what? We are sharing this moment. So let's do it now. I'm trying to make this work. I've never screenshot this way. So the first one is Goku. I just saved that because it's Goku. Why would you not save that? It's over 9,000. Then we have Jogango. Why did... <laughs> This is the fun. This is the fun of it. I don't know what past me was thinking with this one. Let's see if we can uh, break this down together. Joe, Joe, Joe Gango, Joe Gango, Jog, Jog Ango. Why, why would I save that? That's not funny or provocative or thought provoking in any way. I don't know what that means. All right, next. Gay the, oh, I, so that's going to be like medieval speak for your gay. Gay thee. Or it could be like a description. But it sounds really uh, derogatory then, if we do it like that. Gay thee a dance. Is that derogatory? Like, I don't feel offended. Gay thee. The gay. Also works. You want to flip it around? Boys nut. Oh! Oh, no! Ah! Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> Uh, bad past me. Bad. Boy, oh no. What did I do? <laughs> now it's funny. Now I'm like, the humor part of it's getting to me. Like, and even the freaking words on the board, Paragon and Wet. Yeah, let's keep going. Slatasa. I guess that is a very fancy, um, person who likes sex, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't like the word. This is turning into more like, let's converse about the words that I made, <laughs> which I guess is the point. I don't know why I'm acting like this is like, this is so weird. Everything's supposed to be funny and haha. -ha. We're talking about things. I like to talk about things. I don't like the idea of, I don't, much like friend zone doesn't exist. I don't think slut exists. I, I, I think it's just a made up word made up by dudes to slut shame women. I don't think sluts are real. I don't think it's a real thing. It's a mythical thing. If you like sex, so what? As long as it's between two consenting adults and they're being safe, it's none of your fucking business. If they want to have a different partner every single night, so what? It's none of your business. It's literally no one's business but theirs and the people they are with. As George Michael said, sex is natural. Sex is good. Not everybody doing it, but everybody should. I think Margaret Tro said, slut pride. Amen, sister. Let's move on. Pirato. Oh yeah, it's like Lionel. If Lionel was a pirate, he'd be Pirato. Or, or he could be like Paritio. Paratio. It's like a fancier pirate. It's like like the last one, Slatasa. When you add, it's like add letters onto, I mean, obviously when you add, add letters onto things, it changes the word, duh. But when you add certain letters, it, it gives a certain like Pirato. It sounds much more. I'm Pirato. And this is my partner, Slatasa. Waxed on. Yay, waxed on. Reminds me of Karate Kid. 
story time. Uh, I was a young child when Karate Kid came out and I had the biggest crush on Ralph Macchio, like ridiculously big crush. So whenever I see when this popped up, I was like, yay, Ralph Macchio, Karate Kid, waxed on. I know it's wax on, wax off. It's not past tense, but you know what? Let me live. Next, shake it. Yes, shake it. If you have it, shake it. I can't shake it because I don't have it. I don't even know if I ever had it, but I never actually tried to shake it. So maybe I should have shaken it to see if I had it, because then I would know if I had it at one time to shake it. But if I shake it now, I don't think I can, because I don't think I have it. So if I tried now, I wouldn't know if I could, because I never had shaken it in the past. I should have shaken it in the past. If you have it, shake it. That way, if you get in the future and, and you, you try and shake it, you'll know if you can't shake it, because you already tried to shake it, shake it. That is an order right now. Stop what you're doing and shake it. Faikugi? Dear past me, what in the actual fuck? Thick Faikugi. Faikugi. Why is that? Why did you do that? Faikugi. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what Faikugi means. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Faikugi? I can't even like roll the letters in a way that makes thick fi. Fakugi. 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 I guess the closest I can come up with here is if you say it fast enough. Fakugi. Fakugi. It sounds like you're saying cur a curse word, but that's really, really reaching. So yeah. I'm going to call fail on this one. D for effort. Do better next time. Do better next time. And the last one for today. We'll do 10 of them. The last one for today. Gone, K. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. What a perfect one to end on. I guess it could, it could be a way to say goodbye. All right, see you later. I'm gone, okay? And you're leaving. Or you could obviously answer. It's like an answer to a question. Like, where is, you know, Matilda? And you'd be like, gone, okay? You've answered a question. So it can be an answer to a question. It can be an action, what you're doing. And it could be an end to a video. Segue. Yeah. That's going to wrap up this video. I had a lot of fun doing this. I will do the next 10 in a future video, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I don't have a fancy outro, so I'll simply say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Gone K.